Okay, hello Powell family and welcome to Powell Pilates. You need nothing today, we're going traditional mat Pilates. So all you need is something soft under your knees and your body and whenever you're ready, let's get ready to go. So we're actually going to start in a tabletop, but we're gonna be on the forearm. So get your tabletop alignment first, knees under hips, wrists underneath shoulders. And then when you lower down, make sure the elbows go directly where the wrists just were. So now your elbows are beneath the shoulders. Feel free to clasp the hands or keep them wide, whatever feels better. Slightly tuck the chin to the chest so we're not tuning to the neck and causing discomfort in the upper body. Go ahead and flex the right foot and we're just gonna take that foot up towards the ceiling. So for our new schedule, Mondays are more mind-body classes, bar, Pilates, yoga. So today we have mat Pilates. Make sure you keep that 90 degree bend in the knee. Your foot is nice and flexed like you're supporting the ceiling as you rise up. Full range all the way up, all the way down. Relax the shoulders, try not to shrug them towards the ears. Hold at the top, we're gonna come halfway down and back up. Now notice if you're leaning to the left and if you feel like you are, we can always extend that left arm and use it to kind of push us back through center. But ideally we wanna keep the weight nice and even between the left side and the right side, even with that right leg off the floor. Last three, two, hold at the top, keep the foot nice and flex, and we're gonna extend and curl it back in, hamstring curl. Trying to keep your thigh parallel with the floor. Really squeeze the glute in the hamstring. Again, just notice the shoulders and relax. The next time you kick that leg out straight, hold, and we're gonna lower and lift the straight leg. So letting the tippy toes kind of tap the floor and then we come right back up. Nice job. Pull the abdominals in nice and strong to protect the low back. The next time you lift it up, hold, and we're gonna go into a big rainbow sweep. So tapping to the bottom left corner of the mat all the way up to the bottom right. Staying really grounded through your contacts on the floor, core is strong. I just realized I'm not sharing music. Hold on. Keep it going, keep it going. There we go. The next time you take it to the right corner hole, we're gonna point the toe away, pull the knee towards the shoulder and then kick it back out to that right, bottom right corner. Just squeezing through the obliques. Trying to keep that inner thigh nice and parallel with the floor. Next time you kick it out, hold, realign the leg so it's back in line with the hip. Keep the toe nice and pointed. We're gonna cross it over the bottom leg and then lower and lift straight leg. So again, just notice your alignment. Make sure everything's nice and square to the earth. Weight is even between right side and left side. Hold at the top, keep the leg crossed over and go right into some hamstring curl. Really squeezing that hamstring and that glute. Last three, two, hold it long, bring it back in line with the body and then release the leg. Come up onto the hands, shift the weight onto the tops of the thighs so the feet are up like you're going into a push up. And very, very slowly, let's lower down and lift up. 
Make sure the hands are corkscrewed into the earth so the inside of the elbows are actually facing forward. Keep your gaze slightly forward. And make sure the elbows are going straight back so we're focusing on the triceps instead of the chest. Nice, slow and controlled. Focusing on the upper body. Hold at the top. As we shift the hips back and the shins touch the floor, we're gonna bring the forearms down, we come back up, and back into our tricep push up. So it's up, we hinge and drop, back through our plank, and then lower. As everything goes back, the elbows touch the floor. So keep those elbows within the shoulder frame of the body. You should really start to feel those triceps. Keep the weight hinging forward and back. Make sure the core is really strong. Breathe. Two more here. Last one. And now we're just gonna hinge and drop and come back through center. Everything goes back as we drop, we come back through center. Keep those elbows, again, within shoulder frame, so make sure they're not going out wide. When you land at the bottom, the elbows should be directly beneath your shoulders. For three, two, and last one. Release, and shake it out, nice job. So we're gonna go through that series with the left leg. So coming back through tabletop, Let's get our alignment back first. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. When you lower down, make sure the elbows are right underneath those shoulders. Again, you can interlace hands or keep them wide. Flex your left foot and then take that butt foot up to the ceiling. If you instantly leaned into the right, re-square and line up your weight nice and even between both sides of the body. I know you can always extend that right arm to just kind of gently push you back towards the left. and then focus on your breath. Core strong to protect the low back. The next time we're up hold, let's go halfway down and up. Nice job, how well family. Keep that 90 degree bend in that knee. Really squeezing that heel towards the hip. Last three, two. We're gonna keep the foot flexed, extend and curl. Notice the shoulders. If you're shrugging, try to soften. that leg out long, big rainbow sweeps from the bottom right corner of your mat to the bottom left corner. Up and over. Big toe barely touches the floor. Last two big sweeps. Realign the leg back center, and we lower and lift straight leg. So the toes barely touch the floor and it's right back up. Just notice too, if we're starting to shrug, to soften in those shoulders. Hold at the top, point the toe, and then we're gonna bring the knee to the shoulder or to the elbow and then kick it back. Really squeeze and contract through the obliques. Stay with 
with your breath, exhale, contract, inhale, extend. The next time you take the leg back, hold. We're gonna cross it over the body and then lift it up and down. Keeping it to the opposite corner. that you're almost there. Bring it back in line with the body. Slowly release. Walk up onto the hands. Shift the weight forward so you're above the knees. Pull the heels towards the glute. Bicep push up, second round. Elbows go straight back. Chest comes all the way between the hands to the floor. Hands are corkscrewed into the mat so the inside of the elbows are facing forward. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift back up. Nice job. Let's add in that sit back. So as we go back, the heels drop, or the feet drop, back up, and push up. Stay really strong through the upper body. Last one, and now just hinging and setting the forearms back. So make sure the body weight is going with it, forward and back. Here's five, we're going to 10. Keep breathing. Elbows no wider than shoulders distance. Two more. Last one and release nice job shake it out go ahead and cross the legs behind you to have a seat and come all the way onto your back so we're going to keep the left leg bent extend your right leg out long and we're just going to do single leg extensions so point as we lift flex as we lower point to lift flex to lower getting that leg right above the hip and making sure the leg isn't falling off to the side you're keeping both legs in line with your hip structure. The next time you lower the leg, keep the foot flex whole, let it hover from the floor. Bring the fingertips behind the ears and basic crunch. So we're grounding through the left foot on the earth, but our right foot is flexed and floating. We're really targeting those right obliques. Hold at the top of your crunch. Release the right hand by the right side. We're gonna point the right toe, and then we're gonna bring the elbow and the knee together with a straight leg. So again, isolating those obliques. You have two more. We're gonna take the arm overhead, straight arm, reach between the ankle, cross body jackknife. Really feel those right obliques. The next time you extend, hold. Keep that right foot floating from the floor. Hug your left knee into the chest, both hands around that leg. We're gonna lift the right leg above the hip, and then we roll it up, balance. Try not to let either foot touch the floor. Roll it back, and roll it up. Lock your left ankle right next to the right knee, and keep your alignment the entire roll. Exhale as we roll up, relax through the shoulders. Inhale as we roll down. Last two, one more. Roll it up, hold, bring the hands behind you coming onto the elbows. Keep the legs as they are, 
lower and lift. So that left ankle is still locked next to the right knee. Lifting and lowering the legs. One more here. Hold, and now we just pedal switch. Pedal switch. Try to keep the knees within the frame of the body, so don't let the knees come bowing out to the side. Make sure you're breathing. Relax the shoulders. Two more. Hold them long, lower, and lift both legs for 10. Exhale as you come up. Relax the shoulders. Last four, three, two. Slowly lower all the way down. Rebend your left knee foot on the floor. Extend your right leg out long again. Flex the foot. And now we're just going to lift and lower the shin bone length of your left leg. really driving through that right heel. So the right knee's not bent. The right leg is really straight. And we're pulling the toes to the shin bone and pressing through that heel. Last two. Last one, release, bring the bottom of the feet together. Let the knees flare out wide to the side. And then just gently rock your hips side to side. Stretching through those hip flexors and through the low abs, shake it out. Take a couple more moments here, releasing. And then we're gonna flip the sequence on the left side. So bending your right knee so the foot is on here. Extend your left leg out long, hands down by your side. Point as we lift the left leg, flex as we lower. Point to lift. Flex the floor. Nice long line through the leg. Trying to get that leg all the way above the hip and then not letting it touch the floor as we lower down. Try to focus on your breath. Nice job. One more here. The next time you hold that leg down towards the floor, hold. We're gonna bring the fingertips behind the ears and come into that basic crunch. So that left foot again is floating from the earth. Right knee is bent with the foot on the mat. Exhale as you crunch up. That's two. Hold at the top of the crunch. Release your left hand down by your side. Keep the uh, left leg straight, but elbow to knee as we cross the body. Exhale as you cross, inhale as you release. Hold, extending everything out, and now straight arm reaching towards the ankle. Last two. Hold that leg at the bottom. Zip your uh, right ankle right next to that left knee. We're gonna lift the legs over and roll it up. Keeping the alignment through the legs. Nice job. Try not to let the feet touch the earth. One more. Holding it up high, release down onto those elbows and lower and lift the legs exactly as they are. So that right ankle locks into that left knee. The right knee comes to the chest, the left leg extends long to the ceiling. Got it. Last two. 
Hold halfway down and now pedal switch. We're going to do our double leg extensions all the way down this time. So extend them long, all the way down onto the back, lower and lift both legs. Zip those inner thighs together. Try to get the legs right over the hips or the belly button. Final two, final one. Bend the right foot back to the floor, lengthen that left leg, lower and lift just the shin bone length of the right side. Eight, nine, 10, and release. Bottom of the feet together, knees out wide, and gently rock side to side. Releasing through the hips and through the low abs. Nice job, Powell family. A couple more moments here, letting the body reset. And then slowly bring the knees together. Push your hips towards one side of the mat and come on to the opposite side. Moving into side body work. Keeping the knees bent to start. Top hand right in front of the chest. Extend your top leg long. Again, flex that foot and lower and lift that leg. So now we're moving into the side body, specifically the side glute. One more rep. Hold, make sure this top hand is planted so we don't move the upper body, sweep the leg front to back. So we're really grounded through this bottom leg. The IT band, the outside of that thigh is pressing into the mat. So we're not lifting and sweeping the upper body. And we're gonna add on from here. When we kick the leg back, we're gonna bend so the heel comes all the way to the glute, extend it long and sweep to the front. Go so back and bend, extend and sweep. Back, bend, extend and sweep. Nice job. Now, can we make it nice and seamless rather than two separate jerky exercises? It's flowing, like we're just kicking ourselves in the push and then extending that leg out. Nice job. Seven. Eight. One more. Hold the leg to the back and just do your little booty kicker. Extend and then kick. Making sure we're keeping that inner thigh parallel to the floor and in line with our top hips. So if the legs are down here and together, lift that leg up higher. Eight, nine. Hold that uh, bent leg. We're gonna sweep forward so the knee touches the elbow and then kick it back, heel to booty. The little pendulum just sweeping back and forth. Here's six, we're going to 10. Last one. Hold the uh, top thigh right above the bottom thigh with that bent leg and just hold. Make sure your ankle is in line with the knee so the foot's not dropping to the earth. Everything is nice and in line. And teeny tiny pulses, up, up, up. Nice job. Make sure that foot's not dropping. Hold at the top, we're gonna kick the leg out, bend, lower, and lift. So we lower, lift, extend, and bend. Ooh. I hope you feel the outside of your push now. Make sure the foot's not dropping, keep it in line with the knee the entire time. Here's six, we're going to 10. Seven, you got it. Eight, nine, Woo. and release, stack those legs. Bring your top arm right in front of the chest. Now this is really important. It's in front of your chest, not your shoulders, not your ribs, but your actual chest. Top bottom arm is gonna come around and just grab your top shoulder. Moving back into the triceps, we're gonna press that hand to lift up and then lower back down. 
So again, we're focusing on that tricep. Lowering up and down. Your alignment's really important. So if this is a really big struggle, make sure your top arm's not next to your shoulder. It needs to be next to your chest or this is almost impossible. Two more. One more. Hold at the top and release. Sweep the legs around. Let's get sides. So again, we'll start with those legs bent, knees back. Then we extend that top leg with a nice flexed foot, low and lift that top leg. This top arm is in front of the chest to give us support so we're not rocking around in the upper body. We're really grounded. Here's nine, we're going to 10. Hold the leg at its bottom part and then sweep front to back. Again, grounding through your bottom leg and through your top arm to make sure we're not sweeping the body front to back, but we're just isolating that leg. Nice deep breaths. Make sure that leg's not dropping. It's in line with your hip bone. And let's add on that little kick. So it comes to the back, kick your tush, extend and sweep to the front. Again, once you get familiar with the exercise, try to release and come out of that jerkiness and make it smooth, flowing from the front to the back. And really ground that top hand so we're not swinging the upper body. You got it. Hold, and now we're just gonna kick and extend. Little hamstring curl. Make sure the foot stays in line with the knee, not dropping or lifting. The next time you kick your tush, hold, and that little pendulum bringing the knee to the elbow and then taking it to the back. Keeping that bend through the knee the entire time. You got it, Powell family. Stay with it. Make sure that foot's not dropping. Last one. Hold here. We're going to curl and extend. Curl and extend. Two more. And then we're going to hold that curl, teeny tiny little pulses up and down. Maybe one to two inches, nothing big. And make sure that foot's in line with the knee. We're gonna add on the, the kick out. Not yet, not yet. Three, two. So we extend, curl, lift, and lower. So we have a little tiny pulse and a hamstring curl together. A real burner. Here's four, we're going to 10. You got it. Two more. Whew, definitely feeling it. <laughs> and then release. All right, this top hand comes directly in front of the chest. Make sure your alignment's really good. Bottom arm grabs the shoulder. Tricep press ups, let's go. Nice job. And after 10, release, nice job. And then we're going to come into prone, so we're going to lay onto the belly. My microphone's not laying on top of it. So the hands can kind of uh, make fists and stack if you need your neck to be a little higher, or we can just stack palms and lower the forehead down. Make sure you're just listening instead of watching, because if we're looking at the camera and hinging our necks, it's not going to be very comfortable for the upper body. So get your upper body set up first, listening ears on. We're gonna press through the hips to float your legs off the mat. So we're trying to get the entire leg off the mat from our thighs to our toes. You feel this little tiny micro back bend. Keeping those feet floating, we're just gonna hamstring curl so we bend and extend. Keep your thighs off the floor. 
You got it. You should really feel your hamstrings almost straight away. Nice job, Hello family. Stay with it. The next time you hold the legs out, hold. Now lift your head just slightly off the hands, but keep your gaze down. We're gonna slide the hands out under the shoulders. We're gonna go into superhuman. So upper body and lower body lifts, everything lowers. Everything lifts, everything lowers. Press through your hips. Everything else comes off the mat. Really strong for the entire posterior chain. Hamstrings, glutes, low back, mid back, upper back. One more. Hold at the top. Isometric, no moving. Press to those hips. Can you lift your legs a little higher? Can you lift your upper body a little higher? Breathe. Three, two, release. Press the hands under the shoulders. Sit back, child's pose. Release and stretch. Nice job. And then whenever you're ready, come into down dog or pike and Pilates. And then walk the hands back to the feet. Bending the knees soft, roll it all the way up to stand. We're going to transition into some inner thighs. We're coming through the ice. So you're standing on a cloth. Your feet are somewhere between 10 and 2 and 9 and 3. They're wide enough so that when we lower down, the knees aren't going past the toes, but they're also not behind the ankles either. So hands to heart or hands on the hips, not on the legs. Wherever you feel like you want to have the hands, but we just want to avoid setting them on the knees. So squeeze the glutes at the top. You're in a big vertical plank from your pelvic floor to the crown of your head. It stays that way the whole time, lower and lift. So at no point should the crown of the head be coming in front of that pelvic floor. We want to stay nice and lifted through the upper body. So we're not folding forward and letting the crown of the head be in line with the pelvis. But we want to stay nice and neutral throughout the entire spine. So we sink down, squeeze the glutes at the top. We're really wanting to target the inner thighs. So make sure you have a good rotation through the feet. If they're parallel, we'll feel more quadriceps, but we want to target inner thighs. Allow this to be your uh, theme song for this year. When the world gets meaner, we get kinder. The next time you sink down, hold. Keep that chest lifted. Make sure you're grounded through all four corners of both feet. Nothing should be lifted. We shouldn't feel like up on the heels with them lifting. Sink a little deeper. Teeny tiny pulses, let's go. Remember, no hands on legs. Be more kind. Nice job. Pull the abdominals in to protect the low back. Lift your chest. Drop your hips. Feel those inner thighs. Five, four, three, two, hold for 10. All the way up, don't shake out, don't release. Just stand up straight. And then we sink all the way down, come halfway up, down and all the way up. Down, halfway, down, all the way. Really press to those feet. When we're at the top, we shouldn't feel more weight in the ball of the foot than we do the heel. The weight should be nice and even and grounded through all four corners. Here's number seven. Eight, you got it. Keep that chest lifted. Last one. We're gonna sink all the way back down and hold. Pulse says 10, eight, Six, four, whoo, two, and all the way up. Now you can shake it out. Nice job. Last standing exercise, calf raises. So all you'll need is a wall to hold on to so we don't fall over. Make sure that we're not hinging forward, like pushing into it or falling back. We want that vertical plank. Feet are directly underneath the hips, so they're at least two fists apart from each other. Lower and left. Make sure your heels aren't touching the floor at the bottom. 
zip up those inner thighs. Nice long vertical plank. You should start to feel your calves and then into your hamstrings, radiating it up into the glutes. Three, two, hold at the top and we're just gonna pulse it. So smaller movements, kind of like you're just bouncing, but make sure the knees aren't bending. Otherwise you're gonna lose everything. Stay up nice and tall. Just kind of bouncing on the ball of the foot. Make sure you're good and supported so we're not leaning back or forward to find our balance. Stay for 10, nine, eight, six, four, two, and release. Nice job, shake it out. Whenever you're ready, come back onto your mat, meet me on your back. We're gonna hug the right knee into the chest, extend your left leg out long, single leg extension. So hug the right knee in and then switch. Keeping the upper body up and lifted. Exhale on the switch. Really ground your low back into the mat so we feel the core. Last one here, both knees. So a double leg, extend it out, hug it in, extend it out. Exhale as you hug. Inhale as you extend. We have one more. Extend the legs, let the heels drop, fingertips behind the ears, twist the front. Focus on those upper abdominals. Find your breath. Ground through your low back. Hold at the top. So our legs are straight. We're digging the heels into the earth. We're going to do a roll up. So we roll all the way up to sit. And then we roll all the way back down. Articulating through the spine. Tuck the chin to the chest. Roll all the way up to sit. Then roll all the way back down. Nice job, hello family. Using all your core strength to come up and slowly, slowly, slowly lowering back down. Make sure we're not just flopping onto the floor as we come back down. We're using that core to come out of it slowly. There's seven, we're going to 10. We have one more. We're gonna finish with earthquake. So the next time you roll up, hold. Extend the arms out from the shoulders. Relax the shoulders down from the ears. Lean back just enough so your chest is behind the belly button. If the legs are really tight, slightly bend the knees, but keep them pretty straight. Arms are reaching out like zombie arms. Lean back two more inches, hold. Now our goal is to get to the point where we're shaking, the whole body. So if you're already there, stay. If you're not shaking yet, two more inches, hold. Pull the abdominals in. Relax the shoulders, keep the arms reaching out. If you're not shaking yet, two more inches. Hold. There's my sweet spot. <laughs> so I will not be going back any further, but if you're not shaking yet, lean back two more inches, hold. Breathe through it, breathe through it. Hand last time, if you're not there yet, lean back two more inches. If you're not shaking by now, we need to start adding some weights to your earthquake. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Three, two, and release. Nice job. Diamond shape the legs, bomb the feet together, but the heels are really far from your pelvic floor. Around the spine, fold over yourself. Release the low back. Release the hips, the inner thighs. 
awesome job. Love me some matte Pilates. Sometimes you don't even need equipment. <laughs> Slowly lift it back up. Take the hands behind you. Fingers can face whatever direction is more comfortable for you. Bend the knees and then just windshield wiper them side to side, releasing through the hips, finding some mobility. So don't forget every Monday we alternate. So next Monday will be a power yoga flow. Don't let the word yoga trick you. I also said power, so. <laughs> Slowly release. Now if the fingertips aren't already facing away from you, rotate them so they're facing away from you. Lift your hips and sit them all the way onto the heels, but leave your hands and feel that nice big stretch through the upper body. Notice if you're shrugging and then try to soften. Press through your feet and your hands to lift the hips to sit all the way back. Sit however is comfortable. Extend your right arm out long and let the left ear fall to the chest. Stretch out through that trapezius. Relax through the shoulder. Slowly release, right hand to lap, reach the left arm and take the ear to the opposite shoulder. Roll onto the knees, coming through tabletop. Untuck the toes, come into down dog or pike, and then pedal out the feet, stretching out through the calves and the hamstrings. And then planting through the heels, walk the hands back towards the feet. Stay in your forward fold, either reaching towards the toes or grabbing opposite elbows. Let the belly rest on the thighs, crown of the head melts to the mat. Bend those knees one vertebra at a time, slowly roll all the way up. Open up through the chest, pull those shoulder blades together, reach your arms out long. Release the hands, interlacing them behind you, let the knuckles melt to the floor, open your chest to the sky, stretch to the whole frontal plane. And slowly release. Awesome job today, Powell family, on Pilates. Don't forget, tomorrow is a power workout. So we'll need all of the weights and then we get to really throw around some heavy weights and get that heart rate up with cardio burst. So until tomorrow, Powell family, be well.